hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here thanks and if you are old here i really appreciate for your being with me and please subscribe and turn on your notification bell to get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a better flyer using adobe photoshop without any further ado let's get started here i'm using 4 by 4 inches and my resolution is 300 so i'm going to my resource file now then i'm going to import this background here then scale it out to the end here and drag it down like this it's okay then i'm going to apply a solid color then which I'm going to copy the color code from this place, Ctrl plus C to copy. Then come over here, Ctrl plus V to paste. Now go back to your background and I'm going to change this mode to soft light. Then also I'm going to blur it. Go to filter, blur. Go to Gaussian blur and I'm going to make use of this 9.0 inches i mean puzzles to blur it so having done this one the next thing i'm going to do now then i'm going to here and i'm going to import this background image over here okay then scale it out to fit the size so this one i'm going to change the color mode then to color born like this so here you can make use of any one that you want to use but in this tutorial i'm using this color born over here all right then having done this one the next one now i'm going to import this light here then drag it up then i'm going to use screen then go to filter select your blur gaussian blur sorry gaussian blur and here i'm going to use 19.6 percent so you can see the light over there all right so having done with this one now then the next thing that i'm going to do now then i'm going to draw a rent angle like this then i'm going to create a round shape this is too much something like this it's okay all right so what i will do now then i'm going to copy this color code here ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste then i'll keep this one around here why i will duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate then something like this select the two you drag it down then i'm going to rotate it this way So okay like this. 
then after this one now so i'm going to duplicate these two control plus j to duplicate then i will drag this one and i will position it around here Think it will be okay like this. Then on this one, I'm going to apply another color. But before then, I'm going to rotate this one, hold it. Then select it, right click then flip horizontal then flip vertical then you will have something like this okay so on this one now i'm going to change the color ctrl plus v to paste okay this color here over here is for this so i'm going to select this one then copy this color all right and this one the color for this one then is something of black like this then you click ok then later i'm going to apply the color for this one I don't know. Let me copy this one. I don't know if this is the color or let me try and see. Okay, so this is the color for this. So having created this color now, so what I'm going to do now, then I'm going to import the images that I'm going to fix in this rent angle over here. Okay, then go back to your resource file. Then the first image I'm going to use so is this image over here i'm going to import it then reduce the size so why i'm going to position it this way and the second one then is this one import it then why you reduce the size so something like this then what I will do now, then I'm going to click on this one. Then I'm going to bring these two images. Sorry for that. Then I'm going to bring these two images down to the background there. Then right click and create a clipping mask. Select this one, right click and create a clipping mask. So then you will have something like this then if there is any adjustment you want to do then you can apply your adjustment then come over to this one and i'm going to import this image over here reduce the size then fit it into this place so the background color of this color the background color is from this material you are seeing here that is from the shirt then now right click and create a clipping mask so you will have something like this then on this background i'm going to create a drop shadow then increase the distance to maybe six or five anyone you want then the shadow also increase it 13 percent is okay i don't want it much then i'll click okay all right so having done that one now so the next one then we are going to this one now then go back to your resource file and i'm going to bring this image over here then reduce 
the size of the image then i'll position this one around here so why i will duplicate it Control plus j to duplicate then select this one then bring it around here and flip it horizontal then something like this then you can position this one the way you want it to be at least i'm going to make this one something this way then i will reduce the size then also this one i'm going to reduce the size and position it somewhere like this it's okay then i'm going to rasterize this one then hold your control plus shift and press u to desaturate it to black and white then you can go to image go to adjustments then from here then you can apply any color then you want to apply then you can apply this black and white color which is this one then or you can apply from this adjustment then you can apply color balance then from this color balance then you can adjust the setting how you want the the image to look like then you can apply your setting from here I'm going to make use of something like this because as you can see it blend with the background over there then if you want it any way you want it then you can apply your settings from here then I'm going to click OK so now right click then create a clipping mask also to this one so now you can see the outcome of the image then you can use your arrow key then to adjust the image something like this okay then the last one now then we come over to this one then go back to your resource file and i'm going to make use of this image then reduce the size something like this okay now i'm going to create a clipping mask then i'm going to duplicate it also then on this one i'm going to flip it horizontal then i'll position it this way then and i'm going to bring it down I'm going to bring this one down rasterize it hold your shift plus control key and uh, press u to desaturate the color to black and white then you will have something like this so now we are done with this one then i'm going to to group it now control plus g to group it then on this one now then i'm going to draw another rectangle to create a shape then something like this then i'll create a shape like this then i'm going to turn off this one then drag this one back to zero and this one then reduce reduce it then I'm, i will leave it like this okay so what i'm going to do now i will take this one up here i'll position it over here then and here is the color code Control plus c to copy then Ctrl plus V to paste and 
I'm going to reduce the opacity to 25. Then, Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. And I'm going to bring this one around here. Then go back and copy this color code. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then apply this color. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. And over here, I'm going to position this one around the EM. And the color code for this one, I'm going to copy it. Then apply the color code Ctrl plus V. So if you don't, if you look at it, you see that there is a differences between this color from the color code. Then you can see that there is a differences. Okay. Now I'm going to group these ones. So this one's is the background. Now, then we are going to draw another cycle. Then hold your shift key then to draw a perfect cycle, something like this. Then I will position this one around here, something like this. Then, and the color is from here. Now, reduce the opacity to 60 or 50% is okay. Then you will have something like this. Now, then we are going to our test now because we have already, we are done with these ones. So, go to your test and over here, I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test tool. And Ctrl plus V to paste. Increase the size of the font. Then position it around here. Then on this image, I'm going to reduce, reduce it. Something like this to create a space for the test here. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you bring it down, select your test, highlight it and I'm going to copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now reduce the size. Okay, so the next thing now, I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy. Select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste. And over here, I'm going to change the font here to this font here, Jacqueline. Increase the font size, then position it over here. And I'm going to create a color for it. So over here, I'm going to copy color from this background area. So you can make use of this one. This one is okay. I'm going to create a color from here. Then click OK. So this is the outcome of it. Now I'm going to copy another test. Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your test to
then change the font color to white and change the font to Helvetica make it bold the control plus V to paste then I'll drag it up here increase the font size then Ctrl plus J to duplicate highlight it go back to your test copy this one Ctrl plus V to paste then I'm going to change the font to align signature okay so having done this one then the next one now then i'm going to copy this one over here then before then i'm going to draw another rent angle all right so always zoom out and zoom in so that you will see how it's going to come out then I'm going to copy the name now so the first one to copy is this one Control plus C to copy then select your test tool then change the font to a vertical Control plus V to paste so here is favor all right then reduce the font size and change the font color to black Then I'll position it over here. So what I will do now, I'm going to draw a rent angle. Then I'm going to copy this color or make use of any of this one. So anyone you want, then you can make use of it. Then I will position it around here. Then hold your shift key while you select the two. Then you duplicate it. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Now drag it this way. And I'm going to copy the name of this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Now drag this one over here. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you move it. Go back to your test. Now I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then drag this one to this position and the last one I'm going to copy this one Ctrl plus C to copy then duplicate this one Ctrl plus J select your test to highlight it then Ctrl plus V to paste then I will delete this one so over here now, I'm going to select them all, select all the name, then and increase it. All right. So here is the outcome of it. So now I'm going to group it. Control plus G to group. Then 
then use your arrow key then to move it up now i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste and change the color to white now reduce the font size then i'm going to change the fonts to helvetica regular then open the space 8% is okay oh, sorry for that 8% then the font to be regular it's too much 7% So now you have something like this and apart from this now, so what I'm going to do now, then I'm going to select all this one as the dates. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do now then is to put in place another background. So over here, duplicate this one, Control plus J to duplicate it. Then I will drag it and position it over here. Then change it to normal. And for the test, I'm going to duplicate. So for the test, I'm going to duplicate the test. And over here, I'm going to change this test here. Then to black or this color over here. And this one also then change the color to this color over here then i'm going to move this shape over here so this is the shape So now you can see the outcome of it now. So between these two, so which one do you think is, is preferable or which one do you like between these two design? So between this one, between this one and, and this one, which one do you like? So let us know under the comment sections which of this design you like among the two design over here this one so you can see this one or this one so between these two this one or this one so which one do you like let us know that in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Then also, if you want to order any flyer, then you can go to my Fiverr account. Then 
to order any of the flyer then you want also i have a tool body which i use to optimize my youtube channel and other social media so there is a link in the description you can also make use of that link to create accounts and optimize your social media channel thank you so much for watching then i really appreciate your following